guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please 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 don't forget to subscribe and if you are already subscribed thank you for always coming back so i just filmed this look i don't know what this look is it's a very indian doable easy you know makeup i don't know i'll come up with some name when i upload this don't make fun of me because i'm overdressed for the grocery okay this is so easy very wearable like i don't even have foundation on so you know also if you're on instagram please follow me there link is in the description box so yeah let's get started i'm getting ready to go to the grocery i know that's not at all important but see i like to get ready okay so i'm getting out after like three or four months so i'm gonna make the most of this so if you want to make fun of me go ahead make fun no actually don't make fun of me i'll be very upset so i cannot take criticism please don't make fun of me so first things first i'm using my cetaphil daily facial moisturizer with spf so that's done don't forget to put spf on your neck you guys that's where you age first Next, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape and just conceal. I don't want to do the whole color correcting and all today because I'm just going to the grocery. Also, I will be wearing a mask, but isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'm just taking a mini beauty blender to just blend my concealer in. I hope you guys saw the video I made about how to stop your concealer from creasing under your eyes. If not, I will link it up here, please. It's not like this, okay? That's very elaborate. You don't need to do that every day. But something that I do try and follow is that I keep the concealer like to my inner corners and then just blend it out to where it's needed. Also blending it around my mouth. Yes, I will be wearing a mask, but you know, I can't do like only top half of my face. That's weird. So I'm not going to be wearing any foundation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with the Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder. I do have a situation going on over here, but I don't really mind it, so I'm not gonna cover it up. Next, I'm gonna be using my beloved Hula Bronzer to just chisel up my face. I had mentioned in one of my videos how my forehead is humongous and a lot of you nice people actually came and told me like no your forehead is not it's very like normal size and all that but thanks but I know it's fine I'm also gonna contour my nose a little bit because I think people will be able to see my nose over the mask I'm planning to go for a very like rosy cheek situation so i'm gonna take this blush from max factor i leave all the details in the description box below and i'm gonna go crazy and if you know me you'll know i'll not spare my chin and my nose this blush is actually so pretty like you cannot i wanted to keep it really simple but then I want some highlighter just a little bit oh. now I'm gonna go do my eyebrows real quick and be right back so now we come to the main part our eyes that's what this whole look is going to be about so for that take a black pencil and line your upper lids like doesn't have to be good or perfect just like go crazy okay Just like that, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't drag it towards your inner corners. That's it. Now I'm going to be taking this warm brown color on a flat sided brush and just start putting it on your eyelids. Don't take it up till your crease. Just, you know, you want to go above that line that you've drawn and, you know, a little upwards. This is what it should look like. Just want to blend everything in until the eyeliner and the eyeshadow is just all seamless. So this is what it should look like. Now I'm gonna take the other light brown shade on a fluffy brush. Now you wanna start blending in this color into your crease. So 
So you basically want to have a gradient where it goes from black to dark brown to light brown. Now taking an angle brush, I'm going to go back into that dark brown shade and uh, define my lower waterline. I'm not taking it all the way to the inner corners, just keeping it in the outer corner. I'm just going to blend that in as well. And you want to try and connect both your upper and lower lash line. Now I'm going to line my lower waterline using a brown eye pencil. I don't want to use a black one because then it's going to be too dark. You can use black if you know that's the kind of look you're going for. And the eyeshadow on our lower lash line is going to make sure that our cartoon is not going to smudge or smear. I'm going to take my angle brush one more time and just blend in that cardiol and my eyeshadow. Next from the same palette, I'm going to take this really light shade and use that to highlight my inner corners. Just going to curl my lashes, put on some mascara and then we're done with our eyes. So to tie it all together, I think we need a matte lipstick. So I'm going to be using this MAC uh, powder lipstick in Impulsor. This one's actually a little too light for me, but we can make it work with a uh, lip liner. No, no one's gonna see my lipstick. I'm gonna be wearing a mask, but still, okay. I'm gonna look cute. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm feeling very extra, so I'm gonna pop on a bindi as well. Guys, I think that really ties it all together. Finishing off with some sp setting spray. So here's me smiling at the camera in slow mo, cause. I like some drama. So I'm gonna go step out and buy me some groceries. I hope you guys are all safe. And if you're going out, please stay safe. I cannot stress this enough. I'm just doing this for fun because this gives me joy. Obviously, doing your makeup is not your priority right now. I know that. So this is just something that gives me joy. So that's why I just wanted to share it with you guys. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys actually liked this video. Thank you for watching, you guys. Bye, guys.